Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Um, if you guys didn't know, being a channel member has some awesome perks. One of them, uh, f available to all membership uh, levels, is uh, the guaranteed showcase of a deck per month. So it's time for Jfire's deck to be showcased this time, and we've got Jfire's Mummy Mania. Uh, he initially called it uh, the Death Priest deck. I think Mummy Mania <laughs> is uh, it's it's much more suited for this one. Um, the deck is a tribunal, and it's control. It's uh, pretty simple to do a tribunal control, but. This deck is intended for fun purposes, of course, your own amusement, not your opponent. Uh, and um, there's some pretty cool things about it. So, it's called Mummy Mania for a reason, because you are supposed to build an army of mummies, but not for your uh, own good, but for your opponent. Um, and for that, you've got a lot of cards to do so. Uh, let's take a look at the deck quickly. We've got Blood Sorcerer. Uh, Caspar, Scout Moon Bishop, a Knight Remember, a uh, Barrel Stalker, Shrieking Harpy, Sorcerer's Negation, Wake the Dead, Apprentice Necromancer, Channel Storm, Dark Rebirth, Discerning Thief, Galen the Shelterer, Golden Initiate, Mummify, Arcanon, Sarioni, Edict of Azura, Elusive Schema, Empress, Titus Mead, Icy Shambles, Lightning Bolt, Piercing ja uh, Twilight, Cast into Time, Owl, Death Priest, there you have it. <laughs> Memory Wraith, a Piercing Javelin, Abnathan, Ice Storm, Immolating Blast, Thaddon, uh, Wrath of Sidus, Sedusa Darkfire, Ulfrex Uprising, uh, Dark Sedusa, Don's Wrath, Shrine Gordian, and Euraxia Thorn. And of course, Larneth as a uh, closing card. This deck does not feature um, the big clunky stuff like Mirak or Ordving. But you, if you don't have Euraxia, you can go for Mirak. Um, I think Mirak would be better. Uh, again, I don't like using Euraxia. Um, well, uh, most of the times it just gets sniped and has completely no effect. Uh, so, the deck, uh, the Mummy Mania, comes from having Mummify, having Hello Death Priest. Uh, I removed one Dawn's Wrath from the original build and added a Knight to Remember. Uh, you have Dark Rebirth to use with Hallow Death Priest, and you've got Ulfric Uprising to do some more mummifications. And of course, you've got Abnathon, which you, you, you can all also use for mummification purposes. Um, as a disclaimer, during testing uh, versus a Crusader, I. I managed to get his entire hand turned into mummies uh, in two turns. And I almost lost the game because my opponent had a Divine Fervor on board and <laughs> decided to play all the mummies the same turn. Uh, my saving card was a top deck ice storm. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty fun seeing all those mummies crampling together on the board. Um, so yeah, I also tested this deck and several other variations uh, against Archmage Nemo uh, to no avail. Um, I don't know why I tried a scout version and then tried it to uh, try to uh, to uh, modify it, to turn it into a Tilvani. For some reason, the Tribunal works better. I don't know. Maybe I just had uh, luck with it during testing. So um, I'm going to play some uh, some matches on camera and try to have fun because this is a fun deck and it should be regarded as such. It's not made for a laddering purpose, it's just made to annoy the hell out of your opponents. So let's have some fun and play some games. And we've just been matching our first game with an assassin. Now if this is a burn assassin... Uh, It's gonna be hard. Why? Because, well, Burn Assassin is usually full of actions and stuff. So far, no good. <laughs> oh. Let's drop uh, Cast Fire Scout. Let's see what my opponent will summon. 
Probably like an ice spike or something. Oh, maybe it's a Temple Assassin. That would be really interesting. Although, I haven't seen Temple Assassin in a long, long time. Oh, maybe it's... Um, it's an old Salty Assassin. Oh, yeah, that looks promising. Might be an old Salty Assassin. Possibly Dwemer as well. Let's deal some damage. We're pretty okay on this chapter. And let's drop Golden Initiate. We're a bit safe from a four-cost lightning bolt, but it may come next turn. Black Hand Messenger. Interesting. So I'm guessing... There will be an item placed. Maybe another Black Hand Messenger. I have no idea. But I'm kind of kind of set up, setting up uh, the field lane to trade and draw some uh, draw some cards. Okay, opponent keeps going face. Seda, Seda the courier. Oh, and he's gonna drain for three for five actually, thanks to uh, Black and Messenger's last gasp. There was nothing in to mummify. Better to keep it. Uh, Wrath of Cities. And another Wrath of Cities. Interesting. And a Dark Seducer. We can play that. Or maybe it's a burn assassin combined with all salty. This day is mine. Come on here, yeah, it's burn assassin. How do I deal with it? Oh boy. Uh, let's let's resummon a cast by a scout and let's mummify. Two damage is better than four damage, right? Plus, I can trade favorably with that apprentice necromancer. Unless my opponent decides to play soul split, which would suck. <laughs> oh, never mind, spores of war. And for two, okay. Flameslinger. Uh, let's cast it in time. Steal some damage. And try to uh, start some... Ooh, low battery. Try to start some draining operations. We're setting up camp in the shadow lane so far. I saw. Okay, I think uh, this is an interesting take on uh, on Burn Assassin. So basically, my opponent right now, thanks to Wrath of Cities, um, all his cards cost one more. Meaning, I'm cutting back on what my opponent can lay down on the board or activate. As in, um, actions. Um, okay. So we just drew a uh, Hallow Death Priest. We can use that. If we catch Ancarno. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> so all my opponent's cars are actually actions. Ooh. Oh, that's good. We can use that. We could use some drain right now. Uh, let's uh, Dark Rebirth, Wrath of Citizen. This will basically block my opponent some more next turn. For example, my opponent cannot play two Lightning Bolts because now they cost five each. That will be ten Magicka. Okay, here you go, face.
Who plays another Ice Storm? I'm dead. No, nope. Ice Spike. That's good. Ooh. Piercing Twilight. Another Ice Spike. Okay, I can uh, basically just ignore the uh, the remaining probably Ice Spike if uh, my opponent runs to three. Let's try to drain. Okay. Dealt some face that, and with nine magic, I can drop Dark Sedusa. Uh, because we drew it through a cast by a scout, meaning uh, it has an increased cost. That's perfectly fine. I'm gonna be able to, uh, to drain for 10 next turn. My opponent runs. Uh, I don't think there's anything that my opponent can do to to completely stop that shadow lane. Let me think. What cars in Burner Oh, well, I have only seen Nijaro and I for one <laughs> use it because I like the idea. Knife to the throat. Silence. Four costs. Draw a card. I seriously doubt this. My opponent has such thing. And I'm down to five. Thank you for that sorcerer's negation. A goodbye. No elf for you. We're gonna kill off the death priest. Let's see, do we trigger? Nope, no trigger. We're back to 15. Well, we're doing good. <laughs> Could be doing much worse. It was uh, a series of fortunate events that allowed me to, uh, to still be alive. Okay, got rid of thievery. Uh, only two. Um, uh, I'm about to find out which cards got guard and plus one plus one I think yeah Wow my opponent actually sacrificed two lightning bolts which could have went face to destroy that dark seducer but I seriously understand him if this uh Ita Oreo if this Dark Sedusa wasn't destroyed, then it would have been pretty awful to come back. Since I can uh, drain so much. So, a, a Burn Assassin's worst enemy is a drain deck. <coughs> oh, there's the other thievery. Damn it. Didn't get them all. Dark Rift, down to 12 HP. Oh, there's buffed up Lanith. Let's drain a bit. Let's get rid of the Dark Rift and with the other Edict, goodbye Mortal Traitor. So there, have a guard in the Shadow Lane as well. The Cerning Thief will help me produce the cards that I need. Season and Courier. Won't do much. Oh, wow. <laughs> I keep coming back to 12, 13 HP. Ah, oh, this time is gonna be a lot less. Oh, boy. At least we're still in the game. I mean, my opponent keeps draining and doing uh, silly stuff. Uh, silly stuff as in the moves that help me because I'm not breaking any runes I just have to drain for three over and over and over again so we drew our cannon sorry only thanks to Larnet all we need now is a very big creature to 
use it. And most likely I will use Lonith. 8 8. Wow. <laughs> Opponent is uh, deciding. Oh, yeah, not much to decide there. I can destroy a lot of my opponent's HP. Actually, actually, I think I can go lethal. Yeah. Okay. That's nine, and that's game over. <laughs> Pretty weird match. Didn't have much to mummify against a burn assassin. Let's uh, let's play one more and hope that we might get to pull something. Otherwise, it may be boring. All right, on to our second game and fighting against a monk. Oh. Double Seducer Die Fire, completely useless. But oh, this looks promising enough. Woohoo! Hollow Death Priest. Right on schedule. That's. I have no ring, so I'm kind of stuck with stuff. Until we get to higher magical levels, then we can stop dropping the bombs. Place for okay, and um, let's drop Galen. I will keep and try to cycle in more priest. <laughs> Actually, death priest. <laughs> Not to be confused with Shadowfin priest, which is an Argonian. If I remember correctly. What was that? Interesting approach there. I'll have to sacrifice one channel storm. Wrong place for a midnight stroll. Repel the outlanders. And because we gale in some sh uh, from uh, hollow death, some hollow death priest, we can use wake of the dead and no, that's not good. No, I'm gonna use uh, a Hollow Death Priest. I'll see what we mummify. <laughs> Quinrov Burglar went away. Actually, it went away. It just uh, happened uh, a mild mummification process. So now I have to think how to get rid of that Master of Thieves and use our Piercing Twilight to get rid of all of them. So we should be able to divide a plan or something. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Looks like uh, Master of Thieves just uh, happens to serve himself up on a plate. Because I can trade Galen with it, and do some damage, and... Hello, Piercing Twilight, goodbye, Master of Thieves. So let's see if we can get them all. It's one, that's two, and... Yep, we got them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. I think there was a song also attached to those lyrics. <laughs> Pokemon. Who's that Pokemon? It's Master of Thieves! <laughs> uh, going into seven Magicka. So, the fun part is that we managed to uh, use Wake of the Dead to get a buffed up. Um, it's, uh, Hello Death Priest. So, I'll say we're 
pretty good on some parts. Come on, what happens? By the light of John and John. Okay. So we're still going to deal 7, 8 damage next turn. Probably leaving my phone with just 7. Or I can play some control. Because so far I've been going face. <laughs> Not been playing it the way it was supposed to be played. I went uh, a bit of aggro. Okay, so I have two creatures in the shadow lane that can deal with two creatures there. Uh, let's get rid of uh, tough call. Okay, let's remove the uh, drain creature. Let's remove any element of card drawing. And. Whoopsie. Uh, I've got eight magicka. Let's drop a buffed up Hollow Death Priest. How's that? How does that sound? Ooh. <laughs> oh. <coughs> we got Chimera, I think. And. And do soccer. Well, it means that my opponent has either flimsy creatures or it's full of actions and supports. That's one shriveled mummy. That's the second shriveled. Oh my god, that's a an army of shriveled mummies. <laughs> yeah, so that tends to happen. Don't have enough damage to finish my opponent off. But I do have a Shrine Guardian. I love to feast on their marrow. Time to move. Okay. So if my opponent does not, he, uh, did not draw any uh, javelins, then any damage is pretty much futile. My scales and looks like it's game over. Not much that I can do with uh, seven magicka. Oh, Razamdar. Well, <laughs> no more charge because. Shrine Guardian. <laughs> yeah. Army of Mummies. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, a very big shout out to my... Oh, oh low battery. There it was. At the end. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to my Praetorian supporters. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.